Dear students, I hope you are well. Today I will teach you question and answer of chapter 2, A Friend Who Came From The Sky, written by Padma Rao. Priya Chhatro, Mujhe Aasha Hai Ki Aap Achche Honge, Aaj Main Aapko Padma Rao Dwara Likhe Tadhyay Do Ek Dost Jo Aasman Se Aya, Ka Prashna Or Uttar Sikhaunga. So let's begin the topic. Lesson 2 A Friend Who Came From The Sky Part 1, Exercise. Word power. Match the following ways of looking with their meaning. Answer. A. B. Peer. As a crime or accident occurs. Glance. Closely. Finding it hard to make things out. Observe. Quickly. A. B. Peer. Closely. Finding it hard to make things out. Glance. Quickly. Stare. Fixedly. Observe. In a scientific kind of way. Witness. As a crime or accident occurs. Comprehension. Question 1. What was Minnie doing in the balcony? Answer. She was watching the children playing in the park outside. Question 2. Why was her mother worried as Minnie sat in the balcony? Answer. Her mother was worried because it was too windy and there was a possibility of her getting wet which she didn't want. Question 3. What is meaning of the word spastic? Answer. A spastic is a person who has no control over his hands and legs since birth. Question 4. Why did the neighborhood children not become friendly with her? Answer. The neighborhood children did not become friendly with he because they were busy with their own games in school. Question 5. What was the ball that fell in her lap? Answer. It was a duck, a shoveler. Question 6. What had happened to the bird? Answer. In an effort to rejoin her mates, it had hurt her wings. Question 7. How did the bird react when Minnie's mother tried to pick it up? Answer. When Minnie's mother tried to pick it up, it nipped her. Question 8. Why do you think the bird refused to eat anything? Answer being the wild duck it was not used to human nearness, hence, it t terribly frightened and did not trust anybody and therefore was not eating anything. Question 9. How was the bird fed? Answer it was fed with an ink filler after opening its beak. Question 10. Why do you think Minnie named the bird, Mitra? Answer she named the bird, Mitra, because she had no friends and took. Question 11. What was Minnie's reaction when she found Mitra's basket empty in the morning? Answer Minnie became horrified and disturbed when she found Mitra's basket empty. Question 12. Why did the neighborhood children come to Minnie's house? Answer They came to see the bird. Question 13. What change did the bird bring in the attitude of the neighborhood children towards Minnie? Answer The neighborhood children became very friendly with Minnie. Question 14. What mistake did Anju make? How did she compensate? Aunt Sanju said that it was hard for the duck to make new friends because she was lame. This applied quite well to Minnie and was very impolite. But she immediately covered her mouth in order to amend her mistake. Question 15. Describe the duck's farewell. Answer The duck was taken with Minnie and the other children by Minnie's father to the nearby lake. There the children lifted the duck carefully from Minnie's lap and gently released it into the lake. It began swimming and shoveling the water with its beak. The children watched it for a long time. Question 16. Who do you think the story is about, Minnie or the duck? Why? Answer The story is about Minnie and her disability. The duck is only symbolic and has been brought in to focus attention on the handicaps of disabled children. Question 17. What disability did she, Minnie, have? Answer Minnie was a spastic that means she was a person who had control over her hands and legs since birth, cerebral palsy. Language practice. Determiners. Main points. Determiners are used at the beginning of noun groups. Bhasha Abhyas. Nirdharak. Mukhya Kendra. Sangya Samuhu ki shuruat mein nirdharakon ka upyog kiya jata hai. 
You use specific determiners when people know exactly which things or people you are talking about. You use general determiners to talk about people or things without saying exactly who or what they are. आप विशिष्ट निर्धारक का उपयोग करते हैं जब लोग वास्तव में जानते हैं कि आप किन चीजों या लोगों के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं आप लोगों या चीजों के बारे में बात करने के लिए सामान्य निर्धारक का उपयोग करते हैं बिना यह कहे कि वे कौन हैं या क्या हैं थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग आई होप यू लर्निंग वेल हैव यू नाइस डे